Ever wondered how dogs and cats became our best friends? The journey began thousands of years ago, when our ancestors lived side by side with wild creatures, including wolves and wildcats. Dogs, our loyal companions, descended from wolves. It's believed that some wolves were naturally more sociable than others. These social wolves were more likely to approach human settlements. And over time, humans and wolves formed a mutually beneficial relationship. Cats, on the other hand, have a slightly different tale. Their ancestors were solitary wildcats, roaming the landscapes of the Near East. As humans transitioned from nomadic lifestyles to settled farming communities, they began to store surplus crops. These grain stores attracted rodents, which in turn attracted wildcats. The wildcats that were more tolerant of humans thrived in this new environment, and thus began the domestication process. So, over the span of thousands of years, from wild and fearsome creatures, dogs and cats, embarked on a journey that would lead them to become the loving pets we know today. But how did we get from wolves and wildcats to chihuahuas and Siamese cats, you may ask? Well, it's all thanks to a technique we humans have been perfecting for centuries known as selective breeding. In the world of animals, particularly dogs and cats, selective breeding is somewhat of an art form. It's like being a sculptor, but instead of clay, we're using genes. This process involves choosing specific animals with desired traits to reproduce, ensuring those traits are passed down to future generations. Now hold your horses, we're not talking about a mad scientist experiment here, this is just a sophisticated method of playing matchmaker in the animal kingdom. This method has given birth to an array of dog and cat breeds we know and love today, each with its unique characteristics, sizes and temperaments. But let's zoom in on one particular outcome of selective breeding. Small breeds. Small breeds haven't always been around. In fact, they were bred for very specific reasons. Picture this, the year is the late 17th century, you're an aristocrat, lounging in your grand estate. What better way to enjoy your evening than having a tiny lapdog for company? Small breeds served as the perfect companions for the elite, their small size ideal for indoor living and their charming appearance is a symbol of status and luxury. Conversely, in the urban landscapes of cities, small breeds played a different role. Their compact size made them excellent rat catchers, helping to keep the rodent population in check. So, whether it was for companionship or practicality, selective breeding allowed us to create these small, adorable creatures to suit our needs. So next time you see a teacup poodle or a munchkin cat, remember, they're the result of centuries of careful selection and breeding. Each one is a testament to the art of breeding, a blend of science, time, and a whole lot of love. So, We've journeyed from the wild to the living room, but what does the relationship between humans and pets look like today? In today's fast-paced world, pets have become an integral part of our lives, filling roles much beyond just companionship. They've seamlessly transitioned from being mere pets to bona fide family members. They're there for our highs and lows, offering a comforting presence and a friendly paw when we need it the most. And it's not just about emotional support. Our four-legged friends have taken up roles in therapy and service too. Therapy dogs and cats have been proven to alleviate stress and anxiety, becoming fixtures in hospitals, nursing homes, schools, and more. Service animals, on the other hand, are trained to perform tasks for individuals with disabilities, making them indispensable for many. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the benefits we reap from having pets. Studies have shown that pet ownership significantly improves mental health, providing a buffer against feelings of loneliness and depression. Moreover, having a pet encourages physical activity. Whether it's walking the dog or playing with the cat, these activities keep us active and healthy. Today, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to selecting a pet. There's a staggering diversity of breeds available today, each with its unique personality and traits. From the smallest toy breeds, perfect for apartment living, to the largest working breeds that love wide open spaces, there's a perfect pet for every lifestyle. In the end, the journey of dogs and cats from wild creatures to beloved pets is a testament to the enduring bond between humans and animals. It's a bond that has grown and evolved over thousands of years, shaped by our shared experiences and mutual affection. From wolves and wildcats to our faithful companions, dogs and cats have been on an incredible journey. Who knows what the future holds for our furry friends?